Kingdom Hearts' future is scary. Not because of no news. As painful as the wait can be, that's hopefully all it is. Just waiting. A lot of it. What I'm talking about is the absence of non-numbered titles in the future of the series. Now, what do I mean by that? With the game like Missing Link on the Horizon, you'd probably be wondering what the heck am I talking about? But Missing Link is the perfect example of what I mean. Recently, non-numbered titles for Kingdom Hearts have been a little different to say the least. It's pretty much just been mobile games and then a rhythm game and then more mobile games. When during the 2000s or early 2010s, non-numbered titles were filled with full-length experiences is even comparable to some number of titles in games like Birth by Sleep and games like Dream Drop Distance, and I'd even throw a chain of memories in there. These games were good 15 to 20 hour experiences with plenty of content to explore, while also expanding on stories with different characters from different scopes, and they just add a lot to the Kingdom Hearts world and lore. While nowadays it feels like a lot of the Kingdom Hearts stories outside of the number titles, I guess, are more so these episodic mobile games. Even with Melody of Memory having story in it, it was mostly a rhythm game with 30 minutes of story at the end of it. Not as juicy as a game like Birth by Sleep, or even something like 0.2 for that matter. But I could even use 0.2 as an example, 0.2 was only a couple of hours. That was our Birth by Sleep Volume 2 quote. Non-number titles used to be these long running experiences, full games, even though they didn't have a number behind them, even though people who weren't in the Kingdom Hearts fandom would often criticize them, call them side games, filler, not in important or whatever the heck the buzz was. To a Kingdom Hearts fan, these non-numbered titles were a extension to the Kingdom Hearts story, and a lot of them were memorable experiences. These games had their hype cycles just like Kingdom Hearts 3 did. Maybe not as intense, and now I feel like with Kingdom Hearts 4 on the horizon, while I'm really excited for Kingdom Hearts 4, I do wonder about the future of non-numbered titles. Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, well, it was an announcement that I expected. There was a part of me when Missing Link was announced that was really, really hoping that the next Kingdom Hearts Key Saga game would be on console. Would be an attempt to at least bring this story, this masterful story that's in these mobile games, that's locked into these mobile games like Trapped in a Cage, to modern consoles or PC. But Missing Link almost felt like like they were doubling down on it. And while the announcement that Ever Crisis is coming to Steam could be exciting does mean that there's potential that Missing Link could come to Steam as well, I think it still might be a little less likely. It's supposed to be a game where you're supposed to walk around the world and kind of play the game while you're walking around. They want you to attempt to be active with this game, at least that's a side feature they have going along with it. So I don't know how they're going to implement that into, well, Steam. Or maybe they just won't. Still, Missing Link felt like they were doubling down on the mobile game agenda for Kingdom Hearts. And I don't even like calling it an agenda now. But with three separate mobile games, and with Dark Row and Union Cross being canned, the teams disbanding, and them still going on with Missing Link, they are really committed to the idea of pushing the entire key saga just onto mobile platforms. I still hope that in the future, one day they bring these stories to consoles, but hey, I can only dream. The potential for non-number titles could be really huge right now. A big thing that was holding games like Birth by Sleep or Dream Drop Distance back from being quite on the quality of games like Kingdom Hearts 2 or later games that were released was really only the fact that we had a lot of handhelds in the market at that point, and Square wanted to dive into those markets, reach new fans. But nowadays, it's really just the big three consoles and PC. So imagine a non number title with the quality and budget of a game like Kingdom Hearts 2, with the quality and budget of a game like Kingdom Hearts 3. Matter of fact, 0.2 Birth by Sleep is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Imagine 0.2, but as a full length game. Not quite the story or the characters, but just conceptually. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 was essentially a couple mechanics shy of being what base Kingdom Hearts 3 was. And a lot of people adored the gameplay of 0.2 and loved the com, I loved the feel of it. It was our first look at this new gen Kingdom Hearts at the time. It was short and sweet, but so much fun. Just imagine a lot of non-numbered titles nowadays made like that. Imagine if Dream Drop Distance was made like that. There's so much potential there. So when we do eventually maybe get to a Kingdom Hearts Verum Rex, which I'm sure Verum Rex won't be on mobile. 
right? I don't think Nomura would do that to his big project. But as for these other stories with these other characters, there's a genuine concern that they might just have them on mobile games for now. A game like Melody of Memory, a game that was essentially the year gap between Limit Cut and the secret episode, only had 30 minutes of story at the end and was turned into a rhythm game. Melody of Memory is so much fun. I love that rhythm game. I still play Melody of Memory to this day, but I still still remember when non-numbered titles were games like Birth by Sleep or Dream Job Distance. I know I keep going back to those two titles, but it's because I love those titles so much. I love those games. I love that these games tried something new but still felt like Kingdom Hearts titles. They felt like they could be interchangeable with some of the numbered titles, you know, during given moments. The ending to Birth by Sleep to all three characters were some of the most memorable experiences I've had with Kingdom Hearts. Dream Drop Distance's ending in general, the big lore dump we got at the end was such a defining moment for my Kingdom Hearts experience and is a big part of what made me, I guess, the Kingdom Hearts YouTuber that I am now. And these were in titles that weren't numbered. They weren't the Kingdom Hearts 2s or the Kingdom Hearts 1s or 3s. They were these little games on handheld devices, but they packed so much content into them. And I guess I just want that again. So when I say the future of Kingdom Hearts is scary, I don't think the series is going to die out or anything. I think the series, if anything, is going to excel and they're going to go above and beyond for especially Kingdom Hearts 4 and whatever titles end up coming out after Kingdom Hearts 5, 6, the whole trilogy. But if Kingdom Hearts Missing Link is a sign that they're going to be going into mobile games for these Kingdom Hearts games now, I'm a little concerned. I don't really want them to only do number titles. As much as that makes sense and is easier to understand, I think the value of a lot of the non-number titles is the stories they offer, the different perspectives they offer. You get to explore a character like Aqua, like Roxas, like Xion, more in depth, not just for a couple of hours at a time and then switching back to Sora. You get to really dive deep into their stories, their characters, their surroundings, their thoughts. It's just more immersive. So I hope that after Kingdom Hearts 4, we do actually get, you know, some other titles. A lot of people want a Kyrie game. Maybe Kyrie's playable in Kingdom Hearts 4. That would be great. But a lot of people would also love for Kyrie to have her own game her own box art. That was what Melody of Memory kind of was, but I don't really want to count that. It was a rhythm game. We barely even played as Kyrie during the rhythm game, matter of fact. Not until the ending. I don't know. I don't want to sound disappointed or anything like that. I'm very excited for Kingdom Hearts, but I did want to express this. I did want to get my thoughts out on this, create a discussion surrounding it. I want to know what you think. Do you feel how I'm feeling towards this? Are you feeling differently? Do you just want them to go all in with number titles, go from Kingdom Hearts 4 to 5 to 6 and just do it like that? Or do you kind of want them to do what they sort of did before, but just, you know, with higher standards? I'm not saying they should do like five non-numbered titles between the next Kingdom Hearts numbered one like they did with Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm saying maybe Kingdom Hearts 4, then do like one non-numbered title, maybe two, then go to five, and then kind of rinse and repeat. But let me know what you think. Comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. Share it with a friend or family member, and last but not least, if you have not already and want to become part of the union, all you have to do is hit the red subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out to you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer. She's proud.